Nice three and two start to the week here on the Power Five. Cashed all three basketball selections on Monday's show, including the Bucks without Giannis. That makes it a 193, 166, and 11 overall run with free plays on the show over the last few months. For today, I've got some action for you. Plays on both Tuesday night CFB games. Of course, I am one of the most famous Mac graduates in recorded human history. Top seven or eight, give or take. I've got play in the Champions League. Soccer sucked yesterday, but we'll try to bounce back there. Two plays in college basketball as well. As a reminder, you can always comment down below uh, on any of my selections. But if you'd be so kind as to smash that like button, your support is always very much appreciated as I continue to dole out the free plays here on Wager Talk TV. All right, here we go. Number one, under 48, Bowling Green, Central Michigan. First thing you're going to want to note when handicapping both of tonight's MAC games is weather could be a factor. It's very balmy, uh, 78 degrees in Cleveland today. However, this bad weather I think is coming for me tomorrow. Uh, there will be bad weather in both Mount Pleasant and Muncie today. Uh, let's talk Bowling Green, Central Michigan, specifically Expected to rain all day long in Mount Pleasant. That's bad news for Central Michigan offense that ran exactly one play in opposing territory during the second half of their last game. Chippewas finished with just seven points, 168 total yards in the loss to Miami of Ohio. Now, here they're facing a Bowling Green defense that just shut Toledo out for the final 22 minutes two weeks ago. Falcons did score 41 themselves in that game. However, that included an interception return for touchdown. Both these offenses going to look to run the ball Heavy Tuesday night. One thing I don't like about BG, they have too many negative plays on offense. Bottom line, do not look for a lot of scoring in this game. It is under 48, Bowling Green, Central Michigan. The under has taken money, by the way. Uh, should be a similar situation as well with Miami, Ohio taking on Ball State. I like under 48 here as well. Now, Miami is the team that just held Central Michigan uh, to only seven points at 168 total yards. Last time out, they have a top 25 defense in the country when it comes to scoring. 19.9 points per game allowed. However, the Red Hawks issue is an offense outside the top 100 in scoring. You go back and look, Miami failed to score more than 20 in regulation each of its first five games this season. Now, betting it under when Ball State is involved can be a little scary. However, uh, you may recall I did it and lived to tell the story a few weeks ago. The Cardinals are 7-1 and one to the over this season. That lone under... I was on it, 3% client play when the Cardinals lost to Vanderbilt by a score of 24 to 14. Furthermore, note the Cardinals' last game, an upset win over Northern Illinois. That was a 25 23 final and included not one, but two made field goals in the last 15 seconds of regulation. It's a high total for Miami of Ohio. Previously, no total in any game involving them this season has closed higher than 49. Again, unders taking money, and I agree with that. Let me get my soccer play out of the way next year. Third play on the Power 5, 3 p.m. Eastern. I like Sturm Graz plus two against Borussia Dortmund. Pretty simple handicap here. Dortmund's dealing with injury crisis at the moment. Top goalkeepers out. Now, they did beat Leipzig over the weekend in Bundesliga action, but they've still dropped four of six overall, all while conceding a total of 12 goals. That includes a 5-2 loss to Real Madrid last time out here in the Champions League. Now, Sturm Graz isn't on par with some of the sides Dortmund has been facing recently. However, top team in Austria, they're getting a two-goal head start. Desperate for points here in the UCL. I just don't see Dortmund winning big here. If they get up a goal, I think they're going to be content parking the bus, winning by a one-goal margin. So again, plus take the plus two with Sturm Graz. All right, let's go to college basketball. Pretty nice college hoops play on yesterday's show, huh? First play of the year that we gave out on the Power 5. It was Portland State and Washington State over. That cash was six minutes left in the game. The teams combined to go over the total by almost 40 points. Over 40 points, as a matter of fact. Uh, now let's turn to a couple sides for Tuesday. I like North Texas minus 13 over Evansville. Evansville lost its top five scores from last year's team, and if that's not enough, they open up against a tough defensive team that likes to control tempo. I know laying double digits... With North Texas, uh, who played at the third slowest tempo in the country last season, does seem a bit dicey, but I don't think Evansville scored a lot of points tonight. Lay it with the mean green. Next, uh, I'm going to take the points with Idaho State against Arizona State. Number currently plus 19.5. This is more of a fade of the Sun Devils than anything else. Uh, Arizona State lost its exhibition game against Duke by 56 points. That uh, doesn't <laughs> portend well for their season, but... Uh, there's clearly a big gap, obviously, between Duke and Idaho State. 
But here's the thing. ASU is not a good offensive team. They're particularly poor when it comes to grabbing offensive rebounds. I like fading double-digit favorites with that kind of profile, especially here in a game that figures to be played at a pretty slow pace. Idaho State, 340th in adjusted tempo last year per Ken Palm. It's a big number. We're going to take it with the Bengals of Idaho State. All right, let's go ahead now and recap the Power Five. Number one, under 48 Bowling Green Central Michigan. Number two, under 48 Miami Ohio Ball State. Love that Maxion's back. Number three, Sturm Graz plus two against Borussia Dortmund, 3 p.m. Eastern in the Champions League. Number four, North Texas minus 13 versus Evansville. And then a second college basketball play for you here on the show fifth play overall Idaho State plus 19 and a half at Arizona State so again comment down below with your thoughts any questions you might have let me know what you are betting on Tuesday as well and after you've smashed that like button which I know you've already done head on over to wt.buzz slash bp that's where you can find a four percent best bet for this weekend in college football for only Five dollars, Yes, only $5. I am still number one for the season in CFB at Wager Talk. 45 and 22, my last 67 college football bets going back to last season. That's plus 75.4 units of profit and includes a 9 and 2 run with plays rated 4% or higher. Again, this $5 play I'm going to have available later today will be a 4% best bet. $5. Today only. This deal expires at midnight Pacific time, so do not delay. One more time, head on over, wt.buzz slash bp. And that will do it for Tuesday's edition of the Power Five. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Until next time, guys, let's catch some tickets.